Inflatable paddle boards are extremely durable, but in the off chance that you happen to puncture the rail or the deck or bottom of your board, we're gonna go over how to handle that repair today. You will need an ice up repair kit. This includes PVC patches and vinyl glue. You'll also need a one and a half inch chip paint brush, plastic putty knife, 220 grit sandpaper, a marker or pen, rubbing alcohol, soap, water, paper towel, and a heat gun or hair dryer. So the first step in repairing a leak in your ice up will be identifying where that leak is. You can use uh, soapy water and your paintbrush, inflate the board up to proper PSI, and start painting it along the seams, edges, valve, and working your way around the board until you find soapy bubbles. So now we have identified our leak, and on this particular case, it's on the rail, uh, which is a little bit trickier than doing it on the deck or on the bottom of the board. Deck or bottom, you can have the board completely deflated, do it on the ground. I found that working on the rails, you're gonna wanna have just enough PSI in it to give you a nice contour to the rail, uh, but not too much to where it's gonna be pushing air out while you're trying to do the repair. Three or four PSI seems to work. Take your patch that's matching color. Okay, here's my blue on blue. And we're going to basically trace an outline around our repair, leaving as much surface area around the puncture hole as possible. So we're gonna try and line that up nice and square in the center, right about here. And we're gonna be working on both the patch and the board. So at this time, I typically take a pen. You can use a pencil, trace around, outline where our patch eventually is going to be which now you can see, this is my working surface for the board. This is gonna be my working surface for the patch. Okay, now that I have outlined where my future patch is gonna be located, I get my 220 grit sandpaper, and I'm gonna just scuff up the interior portion within the circle that I traced. Not too much, but you just wanna basically score it enough to where you'll have a good bond with the vinyl cement. Then I will do the same on the patch. You'll see on the patches you have a smooth side and you have a heavily textured side. We're going to want to make sure that we're applying the glue to the textured side, which is also going to help adhere the vinyl cement to the board. I like to scuff that up just a little bit as well. Making sure you hit the edges. Okay, so the next part of the process, uh, we're going to want to make sure we clean any dust, dirt, and debris off the patch, off the board, again, to ensure quality Clean that. We're going to clean our patch. Now the board is ready to repair. So included in your ice up repair kit is going to be a tube of this vinyl cement. We're going to open that up and we're going to apply it fairly liberally to both the board and to the patch. Again, reason for this outline we created earlier is to try and keep all of the vinyl cement within the inside of the circle you outlined and not leave a mess outside of the board repair itself. First, I'm going to apply it to the patch. You've got this nice handy dandy little device here to spread it. Make sure you focus on getting a lot of the glue on the edges, otherwise you can have peeling and separation. I'm gonna leave that on my cardboard working surface area here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the board itself here. Spreading it out, trying to get all the way out to the outside of my lines. Hopefully I'm not going too far out past the edge of the line here. Okay, one of the most important parts of this repair is actually litting that patch that you've just coated with the vinyl cement and the board actually set up and dry before you apply the patch on to your repair area. Uh, you'll want it to turn gray and be tacky, almost no stick at all on the two sides. So we'll give it about four or five minutes and that usually does the trick. Now that our patch is set up, we're gonna take our patch, try and do our best to line up right around the circle we created. And hear the patch down. And then get our heat gun or hair dryer out to reactivate the glue. All righty, that's it. Uh, you've successfully repaired your inflatable paddleboard and give it 24 hours to fully cure and get back out on the water. Mm -hmm.